So again, just that you know feeling to get things done. If you guys have the energy to do that, I'll be on board with that. And uh, again, with outgoingness, I'll make sure that uh, you know I'm not being the shy guy in the corner um, who's not helping out. I'm going to be involved, active. You guys need me to lead things. I can do that too. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to bring a lot to the table for this group. We're going to get an A on this project because we all need an A. I certainly do. Um, so, yeah, uh, just hope that uh, you guys are feeling the same as me. My name is Hannah. I'm 21 and I'm a senior in the SP Visual Communications program. Um, I was drawn to an artistic profession because I think that everyone has a unique point of view. And I think the best way to express your point of view is through art. Three points that I want to talk about in this presentation are my approach to leadership, my strengths and my weaknesses, and what I expect to get out of this class and out of this group. Based on my scores for my personality test, I'm a type B personality. I have an internal locus of control. To me, this means that I'm fairly relaxed when it comes to group presentations and group deadlines because I don't want to be an imposing leader that people are afraid of or feel like they can't talk to, but I'd rather be like a friend that somebody will want to work with in order to find the best solution to the problem. Um, according to the personality test, I am an ESFJ, which is extrovert sensing, feeling, and judging. And I scored highest on extroversion and conscientiousness with 4.2 4 out of 5 on both of those um, scores. This means that I get energy off of being with other people. Um, I enjoy being in big groups and socializing with other people, and I think that this is really beneficial especially when doing a group project. Um, in terms of conscientiousness, I want to make sure that I'm aware of how other people are reacting to me and to my decisions, and I don't ever want anyone to feel left out because of um, anything that I might do or say. Um, I got a score of 29 on the locus of control test, which means I have an internal locus of control. Um, while I do believe that there's a higher power in control of um, our lives, I also believe that I can't just like sit around and wait for things to happen to me, but I have to ac actively pursue um, things in order to achieve what I want out of my life. Um, an example of this is having done three different uh, graphic design internships, for each of which I had to uh, interview and prepare a portfolio for, which shows that I'm willing to put effort into something that I really want. Uh, my biggest strength is that I'm reliable. If I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it because I know that other people are depending on me. And um, I really hate when other people, I'm depending on other people and they let me down, so I don't want to do that to anybody else. Um, I'm usually a people pleaser, and I try really hard to accommodate everyone, whether it's in a work or a fun setting. Um, an example of this is when we have like an event in the art building and we need food. I always ask what people's favorite food is so that I can try to please everyone um, so they can always be happy with what they have. Um, my biggest weakness is that I'm really impatient, and if something isn't working or if there's a problem I can't solve, I usually just abandon it and move on to the next thing. Um, this is a weakness, especially in a work setting, because sometimes I'm dependent on other people, and if they don't follow through, then I get frustrated really easily. Um, my only expectation for this class is to get an A, because there's five intelligent people in this group, and there's no reason for us not to get an A. Uh, my expectation for this group is that everyone will contribute evenly. I don't want to be stuck with all the work, which I'm not really concerned about, but it has happened in groups in the past. Um, my other expectation for this group is that everyone will be respectful and um, I want to be included in the group uh, mostly because I'm the only girl and I'm the only one who doesn't know anyone coming into this group which so far hasn't been a problem and I don't think it will be but it was something that we did address in our first um, group meeting. Otherwise this class is not really high on my priority list but I do think that we all should be able to get a good grade. Um, overall I learned a little bit about myself using these personality tests. Um, I think I can use them effectively in a group setting because I know how I can react to other people and how other people will react to me. Um, especially I can use these results in the club that I'm a part of on campus and in my leadership role in that club. Um, in the future I would like to use my strengths as a leader in the workplace both in the design and business world. I'm Clinton Miracle. I'm a junior here at Seattle Pacific University. And I'd like to start off the presentation by talking a little bit about my goals for this presentation and this project. I believe that uh, my group is more than capable of receiving a very high score on this project because we're all very capable. And I've, as listening to everyone's uh, presentations and their personalities, I've found that 
we will work very well together and we'll definitely achieve what we set out to do. Now, since I said that I was going to get an A, I believe that my high goals in this uh, project are a reflection of the score, the test scores that I got in uh, doing the research. And I've seen that there are four main drivers to my um, belief in our success. And those things are, for me personally, my internal locus of control, my Machiavellianism score, my self-monitoring score, and my type A personality test. Now the first, uh, the first metric that I wanted to measure here is the uh, internal locus of control, which I scored a 22. And that reflects a moderately high belief in my ability to control my future. And I think that that's fairly accurate because I see most decisions as being my own, but I do acknowledge that there are external factors. And I think that what, what this means for the group is that I'm a person that will uh, acknowledge that I have faults and acknowledge when I fail that it was, it was my fault and I, don't, I won't make excuses, but it also means that I'll be driven to achieve and driven to uh, make sure that I fulfill my goals and my objectives in the project because, as I said, that I, I have the philosophy that uh, those things rest solely on me and not on external factors. Now, my Machiavellianism score was something I found a little bit problematic. I scored a 50, which is moderately Machiavellian, and that bothered me slightly because I disagree with most of Machiave Machiavelli's philosophies. But uh, what this means for the group is that I'm someone who is results-oriented, and unfortunately, that mean my Machiavellianism score indicates that I may attempt to use unsavory methods to achieve my goals and uh, that's something that I just need to be aware of and need to uh, keep in check because of course that's not something that will be beneficial to the group. Another thing that Machiavellianism means is appearance is everything and that's of course something that I disagree with but sometimes find myself falling into. I like to make sure that I have the appearance of doing good but uh, Sometimes, as I said before, I have a tendency to use a slightly um, unethical means at times to do that. And once again, that's something that I need, need to keep in check. Right, with this in mind, I'd like to move forward to the uh, self-monitoring score, which I scored a 16, and that's relatively high once again. It's, it's not ultimately high, it's not the top of the range, but it's a nice middle ground. And I think what that means for me is that I am self-motivated, I'm self-monitoring. At times I may have difficulty with things that I don't feel are important or things that I don't feel are ex completely necessary. So I need to make sure that I keep my attitude about what we're doing in check and uh, remember that this is for the benefit of the group and this isn't something just for me personally. But I think that my self-monitoring score does pay dividends for the group in that I don't need external motivation to get tasks and objectives done. I have, a, have the ability to know when something is necessary and do it and do it without uh, provocation and do it without uh, people needing me to do it and do it without um, failing the group. Now moving on to my uh, personality test type A personality test, which was a 55 score, which puts me right in the middle ground, slightly biased towards type A, which uh, I believe makes me someone who is easier to get along with and can identify with both. Uh, I have tendencies to uh, be stressed out by certain situations similar to a type A. I may, uh, I may get frustrated at times when I feel like I can't find a solution to a problem but I also have a uh, type B ability to step back and at times maybe use humor to uh, avoid having a, having a bad or negative outcome. And I think that's something very valuable to the group because there is going to be those times where we reach points in our uh, project that we have issues and uh, we can't solve them. I think that ability to step back and look at the problem while still being able to analyze and still being driven to solve it, it will be important. So in light of all this, I believe that I have a very good skill set as they are not, uh, not extremes, but they're very moderate. And I think going forward with the group, that will be very beneficial.